Hello everybody, this is Brett Darian, and in this video, I'm going to do another experiment. We are going to be talking about VHS tapes today, video cassettes. Now many of you are probably familiar with VHS, the standard video cassette. Here's one right here. It's just a standard, standard VHS tape. But, some of you may not know though, that there was actually a improved version of VHS that came out in 1987, I believe, and it was called Super VHS. And this is a Super VHS tape. See, it looks pretty identical to a regular VHS tape. And here's the two of them side by side. See, they look really identical. And even on the back, they're pretty identical. But the VCR does know the difference between the two. It knows when a SVHS tape is inserted and when a regular VHS tape is inserted. But today, though, we're going to be talking about is there any real difference in quality b between these two tapes? Like, can you actually see the difference? And also, it, will there be any difference when playing a regular VHS tape back on a Super VHS player using S video cables. Now most people when they hook up their VCRs they use the standard composite cable like this along with the audio leads but Super VHS players like this use S video to hook up to their televisions and S video does provide a slightly better picture than regular composite because it separates uh, the chroma but but again is there a real difference? Can you actually see the difference between the two. Like, is it really noticeable? We're going to find that on this video. So let's start by looking at some footage of a regular VHS tape and we're going to play it back using standard composite cables and then we'll switch to S video cables and see if there is any noticeable difference when playing a regular VHS tape back in an S VHS machine or if there really is no difference at all. Okay, so this is a clip from a VHS copy of Josh and Sam. This is composite feed, captured directly. And most pre-recorded VHS tapes are in super play, so you get the best quality. So this is how pretty much everyone back in the day would watch their VHS movies using composite cables and this is a rough rough idea of what that would look like and now we are watching the same clip using S video cables and this looks very identical like uh, the only difference I might be able to see is that some of the colors in this clip might be slightly brighter maybe um, but other than that, it looks identical. Like, there is really no differences. Um, so that's what I conclude from this little test here. There really is no advantage to using S-Video to watch a regular v a VHS tape. So, let's move on. Okay, so now let's try doing some recording tests. Now, what I used to do uh, back in the day is record a lot of TV programs like over the air, local channels and stuff. I've recorded that stuff on VHS tapes. But nowadays though, everything's all digital. They're, you know, all the analog broadcasts are turned off, so you cannot just hook up a antenna to this VCR and then record off of it because all the analog stations are turned off and these VCRs don't have a digital tuner inside them, so you can't tune in digital stations. So, of course, there is a Solution for that though, you can use a digital to analog converter. Uh, the government actually gave these for free to people when the, uh, the analog shutdown officially took place, I think in 2009. But the problem though is that most of them just have composite out. In fact, the majority of them just have composite outputs. There really aren't any that have S video outputs to really do our test with. However, there is actually one that I have found, and it is this one here. This is an Apex 
DT502 digital TV converter and this one does have an S video output so you can hook up this converter box to this VCR using the front ports right here using an S video cable and get S video quality from your over the air broadcast and record them onto a super VHS tape or a regular VHS tape as well and we'll do comparisons and see how they both look but anyway yes yeah. so if you want to get a converter box look for this model because this one has an S video output and also make sure it comes with the remote because the remote is necessary to do a lot of functions on the box so we are going to hook this up and we will do some recordings okay so I am all ready to record now box is all hooked up I know it's kinda of messy but this is just temporary so on the back we have the antenna coaxial going in and we have S video and audio going out to the front here of the SVHS VCR and we are going to first we are going to insert a regular VHS tape and record on that and just to avoid copyright issues I'm going to be recording this local PBS station that just broadcasts some like school stuff and stuff like that so so we're going to start recording this and again this is on uh, just a regular VHS so it's starting to record now and now this VCR also has a feature called SET and SET will basically well what it's supposed to do is give you like SVHS like quality on a regular VHS tape so we're also going to test that out as well and see if that does anything different so now we're going to stop this right here it's been 30 seconds and I'm going to fast forward just a teeny bit here oh, it's a little too much but it'll still work um, and so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go into the VCR menu using the remote of course and I'm going to turn the SET function on and we'll try recording again and we'll try recording again now this time in SET mode and once again we, we will see if there's any difference in quality and this is actually a good thing to record because this has text and background so we'll actually be able to see the difference really up close to see how this looks this will give us a good idea so here we go so that's been like another 30 seconds and we will stop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually insert a Super VHS tape. And we are going to record on that. And I'm going to use the remote once again to turn on the Super VHS record function. So put it to auto. And as you can see it lit up there, SVHS. So we are going to record now in SVHS mode on a SVHS tape. Get out of the menu here. And once again, we will be able to see if this we'll see how much better the quality really is compared to a regular VHS tape in just regular VHS recording and SET function and with real SVHS so that's been about 30 seconds so we'll stop it right there and so now recording is done so now let's take a look at the results 
Okay, so these are the results of my test. Um, these are the same recordings that you just watched me record. And we're starting off with the old-fashioned, tried-and-true way to record and watch VHS. This is a standard VHS recording being played back with composite cables. This is how that looks. Looks just like it should. It's kind of fuzzy and everything. And now we're looking at that same clip, but being played back with S video cables just to see if there is any improvement at all and I do not think there is I once again just like in the movie clip I think there really is no difference there is no improvement in quality using an S video cable to play back a standard VHS tape in a S VHS VCR I just don't think there is any improvement however though in this clip we have turned on the SET mode and I do think this is an improvement. Now, this is using composite cables again with the SET mode turned on. And I do think the text does look a little bit sharper. Uh, pretty much everything else looks the same, but I do think that this does look a little better. And now, we are still using the SET mode, but we're now using S video cables. And I think this looks a little better. Um, it... it uh, this looks pretty good, and I think this is as good as a standard VHS tape is going to look. Um, it's, I don't think it can look any better than this, honestly. So, next up here, we are going to, uh, we're recording on actual SVHS tape, and this will presumably look the best, and I think this does look the best. This is a... Recording on SVHS tape and its output through S video cables and sure enough I think this does look the best the the text is very sharp and clear Colors are nice and clean So I think this looks the best and just for fun we're going to look and see what SVHS looks like in composite and and surprisingly this actually looks better than anything in standard VHS still uh, despite this, uh, despite the fact this is still in composite, so, uh, so I think it's pretty good. I like the uh, uh, results here. I'm happy with them. But that'll do for this video, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please feel free to like and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video.